In this tutorial, we'll learn about some basic properties of networks in Atlas TI and get a first overview of the Network View Editor. When you create and link objects such as quotations and codes, imagine that you're casting an analytical web over your data. A large network of interrelated objects emerges in the course of your work. You can concentrate on different sections of this web or on different network views using a tool called the Network View Editor. The two basic components of networks are nodes and links. Nodes can include all objects in a hermeneutic unit, as you can see from this list with an overview of node types. Codes, memos, primary documents, families, and even other network views can all be network nodes. Different types of quotations, such as video or audio quotations, are visualized using distinct icons. And there are also different symbols for distinguishing between family types. To open up an existing network view, click on the Network Manager icon in the main horizontal toolbar. In this list, the number in parentheses refers to the number of network nodes in a given network view. I'll select the network different node types. Any of the network nodes that you see in this view can be members of other network views in the project, just like a code can be an element of more than one code family. To move nodes, you can click and drag on individual or multiple objects and move them to where you like in your network view. You can undo a single positioning step for a node, but not for a series of changes to the node's location. Open up the Nodes menu and select the first item, Undo Positioning, to reverse the last change that you made to a node's position. To wrap up, let's learn two important pieces of terminology for networks in Atlas TI. These are neighbors and co-occurring nodes. The neighbors of a node are all objects that are directly linked to the node in your project. If I select this node, then I can press Ctrl N as in neighbors to display the node's direct neighbors. Using this combination again will show me the node's neighbor's neighbors. Co-occurring nodes are objects that refer to the same or overlapping quotations. These two terms will be important for our next mini-tutorial on creating network views. And that's it for our first network tutorial. Thank you.